Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening everyone, wherever you are in the world. You are special. And you are a king. So, you are welcome to King Visuals. And today I am going to show you how to create, 5 super easy and fastest text effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. So, let's get started. The first effects that we are going to create is the wiggle effect. Let's jump into Premiere Pro. The first thing you have to do is to add a text. So I'm going to type wiggle, and make sure that the text is bold and centered. Now, move to the effects panel and search for turbulent displace effect, and add it to the text. You will see that your text has already changed in shape. The next step is to go to the effects control panel and scroll down to find turbulent displace. Now, you can move to the end of the clip and add a keyframe to offset turbulence. You can now move back to the beginning of the clip and change offset turbulence to about minus 300, change complexity to about 1.3, and add a keyframe to evolution starting from the beginning of the clip at 0 degree, and move to the end of the clip and change it to about. 15 degrees and that is it we are done with the wiggle text effect if you followed exactly you should have something like this the next easiest effect that we are going to create is the block wipe effect first thing first we are going to add a text and position it i will keep it at center and make sure the text is bold. Now, let's move to the effects panel and search for the block dissolve effect. Add it to the text, and let's go to the effects control panel. In the effect control panel, change the block width to about 60 and the block height to about 60, and uncheck soft edges. Now you can add keyframe to transition completion, starting from 100% at the beginning of the clip. Move some frames forward and change transition completion to 0%. And if you followed correctly, your text will look like this. The third effect that we are going to create is the transparent text or background mask effect. But before we continue, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss nothing. Thank you for doing just that, now let's proceed to the third effect. We already have our video on the timeline, so what we are going to do is to create a black video and place it on top of the video on the timeline. And then stretch the link to be equal with the video, if necessary. After getting this black screen, the next step is to add a text, and with this effect, I will recommend a bold text. And you can also center the text, if needed. And stretch the length of the text to be equal with the other clips. On the effects panel, search for track matte key, and add it to the black video. Now, on the effects control panel, change matte to video 3, which is the text layer, and check the reverse box. And that's it, we are done with the transparent background effect, super easy. We are moving straight to the fourth effect, which is the typewriter effect, but if you have not already subscribed, make sure you do it. If you have done it, let's jump into Premiere Pro. As usual, we are going to add a text, but this time, we are not going to type. As soon as the red box appears, move to the effects control panel and add a keyframe to text source, and then, select text again and move 5 frames on the timeline and type the first letter. You can move the frames by clicking this button 5 times. Move 5 frames again and type the second letter. And do the same thing for the rest of the letters. After the last letter, pick the selection tool and you can center the text if necessary. And if you followed correctly, your results should be like this. And finally, we are going to create the reveal effect.
For the first step, we are going to type our text and position it. And I am going to type reveal for this effect, and position it at the bottom center. And after that, move to the effects panel and search for the rough and edges effect, and add it to the text. Now, in the effects control panel, scroll down to find rough and edges. Add a keyframe to border and change the value to extreme high at the beginning of the clip, move some frames forward and change the value to zero. Ease out the first keyframe, and the last keyframe, ease in. And this is the result. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for tips and tutorials on Adobe Premiere Pro, and After Effects every week. Don't forget to like the video, and if you believe that you are a king, make sure you leave a comment down below. Jesus loves you. See you next week.